come back. I left with a clue. Nothing tiny about this. It goes on forever. What goes on forever? Only one thing. Eternity. 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 69 to uh, Ian's 40. Ian, you're back. Let's go. Uh, consonant, please, Rachel. Thank you, Ian. P. And another. T. Uh, vowel. A. Vowel. U. Vowel, please. E. Uh, consonant. N. Uh, another consonant. G. And uh, vowel, please. I. And a consonant. And lastly, V. Can down. Six and petunia. Ah, uh, yes. Seven. Yes. That comes from a word meaning tobacco because they're related to the tobacco plant. Is that right? Yes. Petunias? Yes. Oh, Anything else? That was it. That was All awesome. right. We're going to have 75 to 40 and we turn to Alan Allen. Off you go. Let us go. Can I have a constant, please, Rachel? Thank you, Alan. P. And another? K. And the vowel, please. O. And the other vowel. E. And the constant. D. And the other constant, please. H. Uh, another constant, please. R. And the vowel. I. And the final vowel, please. And the last one. E. Stand by. because Susie's going to give us a blast of her origins of words. Well, I had an email from Bob Tyler, who asks whether feeling jaded, as in feeling a little bit tired and listless, has got anything to do with the mineral jade. And the answer, unfortunately, that's a good question, is no, because a jade um, also used to be a worn-out horse. Uh, so that's exactly how you'd be feeling, like the poor old horse, if you're feeling jaded. 